OK, this is a um, example of how to draw the dormers here. This is this will be a uh, voiceover for the video. The video shows uh, just the video with no sound, so I will go back in here and show you how to uh, actually do this. Sometimes I you can't follow the uh, video without knowing what's going on here. Right now I'm drawing the walls of the of the uh, structure. This is an old program. Uh, it's easy. To, it's a fun program, but it's been outdated by a program called Revit and Autodesk. But this gives you an idea of how the uh, how structures are built. Uh, simple, easy to follow program. It may be on your devices. Uh, you may uh, can gain access by uh, following the previous directions in the earlier video. But right now I am drawing the exterior walls of this of the uh, structure here. Uh, so just click on the wall icon in the upper uh, bar up there. And you see I have this rectangular shape here. And this is where we're going to draw the uh, the dormers here. There's a, there's a specified length here and height. Uh, there's 30 by 60, but you can we can get those um, put those in any time. Right now I'm going to save. I'm going to save this rectangular here pattern here because this is the first floor. Don't save it here. Save it in your name here. Don't save it back to the. Uh, program here, save it in your. School name, the school file. And then right now, next thing you're going, this was the first level, this is second level. You're going to show floors and build and hit OK. That was quick, very quick there. So up top at the toolbar, click on show floors, go down to build, and this will become your second level because you're going to draw your dormers on your second level of the house, not the first level. Right now I'm drawing some auxiliary interior walls here. And uh, this they are supposed to be at a particular distance from the back wall. That's what I'm doing here. I'm, I am drawing a, a a dimension line here and I can bear, move that wall back and forth. Uh, I'm just enlarging it right there. I clicked on the magnifier so I can see that better. So uh, see 6.9, 6, uh, 6, uh, 6 feet 9 inches. I'm going to use the mouse icon and drag that wall up until that wall is five feet. I'm saying I think it's five feet. Uh, I'm just doing this by memory. I don't have. <laughs> uh, I did this video a while back. I'm just looking at it here, but uh, I think I, I'm going to drive uh, move that wall to five inches. <laughs> five inches, five uh, feet. Let me see that if I, that's correct. Yeah, this the the inner wall there is is called a knee wall because it's not really a wall that goes from the floor to the ceiling. It's a wall that goes halfway. So I'm going to slide that wall back by grabbing it and slide it back to I get it five feet. Yeah, OK, five feet. That, that, and. Um, I'm going to. Measure. I don't know why I did this on this side anyway. Yeah, I'm going to put two. Uh, let's measure it. You know, if you draw it parallel to the outside line, outside wall is going to be five feet. So now what I'm gonna, I'm going to um, I guess move it into here inside so I can see the whole structure. Shrunk it down a little bit. Well, I'm I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom bottom half of the uh, structure. I'm going to move this wall, this interior wall. Uh, five feet from the exterior wall. So the exterior walls are the walls on the outside, and the interior walls, well, you know, uh, it's coming. It's quite obvious where they are. So I'm going to highlight and pull it down to its five feet. Also, okay, come down slowly. So I got five feet. These interior walls are five feet from the exterior walls. All right. So what uh, next step? 
will be to uh, ceiling height is 96, floor height 107. Change the ceiling height. Let's see what I do here. I know I'm going to name something. Take a minute here to see what's going on here. I pause the video for some reason. OK, I'm changing the ceiling height to four feet. Instead of 96, remove the 96 and make that four feet. OK, it's not going to be an eight foot wall. It's going to be a four foot wall because these are the uh, dormers and change. Uh, click on that wall there and go to define. I'm trying to get this right here. Click on the wall. Double click on that wall there. Double click on these outside walls and we're going to define. Those walls as gable full gable. That's what I'm doing here. So double click, go to define in the lower right corner. And you can define click a uh, full gable. OK, so you do it on this wall and do it on the uh, opposite wall too. Hit OK, hit exit out. Uh, what happened? OK, you're going to uh, with the mouse with the arrow, you will double click on that wall here. And you're going to click define. And you're going to click full gable also. And hit OK. Now you got these right and left walls are defined as four gables. You're going to define uh, the interior wall here, this wall right here. You're going to define that wall. Hit, click on define, and you can define that one as a knee wall and hit OK. And this wall right here, same thing. You're going to define this wall. Uh, define this wall. Click on define and you're going to click knee wall, which means it's a half wall, not a. Uh, it's a small wall. Hit OK. Now you got the walls. I'm just rechecking to make sure you that one is full gable. That's correct. Double check because it, it won't come out right. I'm just ch double checking looks like and I'm going to double check this one here. Um, define it's still is full gable. I'm just double checking my walls. And. Close that out. I'm going to. Uh, I'm just double checking, make sure everything is is uh, as I said it was. All walls are full gable and knee walls. Interior walls are knee walls. Exterior walls are full gable walls. Close it out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come inside here and draw some. Um, little boxes that go around it. These will be the base faces of your dormers here. Just draw a little box, rectangular box like that. Click on wall and we'll put the dimensions in here shortly. You can do this on at top and bottom. You can move those dimension lines to the right or left if you want to. OK, I did do that. Move them to the right out of the drawing area. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to. Let me see. Enlarge this so I can see what's going on here. I'm going to I think I'm use a break wall tool here. To. Cut out that middle section of the box. Now wait a minute. OK, I'm going to these dormers are two feet from the back wall, so. I'm going to slide that uh, base of that dormer inward to two feet. See, 
move, pull it down until it says two. All right, we're going to do the same for the opposite side, the right side. Going to pull it down until it says two feet from the exterior wall. You're going to duplicate the same procedure on the bottom half of the uh, structure also. OK, now we need to know how far the dormer is away from the uh, left wall here. So to mention that uh, need to be move that out of the way. This in, in fear I can't see my numbers. I think it needs to be five feet. From the exterior wall. OK, we'll make that five feet and we'll do the same thing on the up, opposite side. So make that. Uh, dormer on the right side five feet from the exterior wall. So everything has to be symmetrical, have to look proper. OK. So put that dimension there and we're going to uh, change it to five, slide it to it says five feet. To the right. OK, great. Now we need to know how wide the dormers are. See the one on the right is wider than the one on the left, so we need to get those dim dormers the same uh, width. So let's make the dormers uh, see here. I think they should be five feet wide. If I recall correctly. Let's see what my dimensions are. So we need to make these dormers the same width. OK. Four, five feet wide. All right, so we just slide this one inward to five feet. So the dormers are five, both dormers are five feet from the outside wall, two feet from the back exterior wall, and five feet across. So this one is uh, almost complete. Get our dimensions back in the center. And uh, we're going to, now the connector, the opening there in the dormers need to be removed here. So there's a tool called the break wall tool. There's like a little zigzag up there. We're going to click on that. And we're going to. Uh, we need to enlarge it maybe so you can see. Click right there between the wall. You see that little. Mark that appears there. That tells me that that tells you that I'm going to break that section. From that wall there. OK, now go back to your mouse and you can click on that little section there. And you can delete that middle section. So. Yeah, I can see I highlighted that and I can delete that by hitting that little X up there. Click on this section here and we're going to delete that too. Everything is moving fine. Now we need to. Uh, define that area right there. Double click. We're going to define it as a. Full gable also give it to the it gives the pointed area of the little pointed part of the roof. OK, that's full gable and we need to define this base of this dormer here. Also double click hit, click on define and it and we're going to go to full gable. All right. So. Hit OK. We got everything defined. And now we need to put some windows in the base of the structure there inside that. Uh, 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 dormer. So click on window. And uh, disregard that error and see, see your window right there. And just like it's more to the left than it is to the right. So we need we can slide it over. Just a little bit. Click on it, slide it right there in the center of your dormer. OK, and you're going to do the same thing on this side. Put a window, click window. Uh, there, disregard the error message. Hit OK, that looks pretty good. So we got the windows in the uh, dormer. The next thing we need to do is um, repeat the process down here. I'm going to 
I'm just going to build the roof here. We're going to change the pitch of the roof to 12. OK, there's a dormer on the what? On the upper portion of the house there. If you don't get that right there, you made a mistake somewhere. And if you look at that, when we go forward 3D view, 3D full overview, a three dimension, uh, you can see uh, that was at the, if I rotate the house around, you can see uh, view an angle, uh, rotate the house around, you'll see the dormers on the second level of the house. If you get an error or something, you have to go back in there and see what happened. Click on back view angle, rotate it around, or something didn't go right there. So you need to go back in there and see what happened. This guy got a, uh, a wall there in the center there, don't supposed to be there. But you're going to run into errors like this and don't get frustrated. You just got to go back and check all your settings. So I close out there and go back inside and see if I can find out where the error was in this. Uh, remove the roof there. And see. What happened here? I am um, just checking all my settings here. Ceiling height, check your ceiling height, floor height. Uh, it OK. Check the wall, make sure it's a full gable on, on the left. Define the wall, make sure it's a full gable on that side. It OK. Check that wall there. Should be any 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 uh, changes in that back wall, just a regular wall. Uh, check. Uh, no, th th check that wall there. Make sure there's no uh, changes to that wall, side wall. Hit OK. Check here. Uh, make sure that's full gate. I don't see my window there. Uh, Define that wall as full gable. OK. It OK, I'm just double checking everything I did earlier. That's when you have an error. You have to go back and uh, try to find out what caused that problem. of not re rendering correctly. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a window here. OK, there's my window again. I don't know what happened to it in the. In the first part. And I'm going to take a look inside here. See that with the uh, camera and you see the window as the. Uh, interior there, I'm going to take a look at this. Uh, window here, see how it's more to the left. That didn't cause it for not to render that look window looks OK. And. Trying to see why coming in house didn't render correctly the first time. I'm going to go to. Show. Uh, I'm going to what I'm doing here. Floor pitch. That's, everything looks OK. That that looks correct when you see that. So I'm going to go uh, full overview again. And look at the rotated round and take a look at it. On the back side. OK, OK, now that's I don't know what happened the first time the computer could not render correctly. But that's the way the, the uh, uh, dormer is supposed to look and you repeat this process on the other side and you should have dormers on front and back. On um, that's on the OK, that's on the left side. See how the dormers protrude out from the roof uh, and that's the, the gable in the little peak bird top. That's what the, uh, the view of that side, the right side, the same thing. And you should be able to duplicate this again on the other side based on what you saw during the video. So there you have it. So uh, this is one of your assignments. You may may be able to do this in the classroom if you could tie it to the server. If not, and then you may be able to do it at home. You can replace those windows. You can send You can put those windows in the center by just clicking on them here and moving them to the right or left. 
them, put them in, uh, get them more, you know, uh, center up, more in the center. And it's just a matter of moving them around, clicking them up and sliding them back and right. And you can change, you don't have to be rectangular windows, they can be oval, um, yeah, circular windows. See how I'm moving that window? Best to uh, move the window while it's in the 2D uh, state instead of the 3D. Remove the roof here and uh, uh, slide the window to the right or left, and you can uh, center it up better than the 3D uh, area there. So go to roof, remove the roof, and then you can try to slide your window to the right or left to the best of your ability there. So, all right, practice this here and see if you can, uh, now, now you click on the window here and, uh, oh, you can, what am I doing here? Um, maybe it's trying to move the window to the right or left, trying to just center it up just as best you can here by clicking on the center portion and dragging it to the right or left there. That looks pretty good right there. And then do the other one to the same. Uh, rendering your 2D into a 3D. I'm already got to go the other way. I'm already at the right window. Go back to your left window. This is a. Uh, I thought I was at the right window. I need to uh, back away and see where where the windows are. So uh, listen to the or watch the video. Try to follow the directions here. See if you can. Uh, there you go. Now let's take another look at this window here. And see if I can slide it to the center of the wall. There you go. And this is where, yeah, it's in the center of the wall. And then we look at it from the outside again. You can see that the windows are look a little better than more to the right or left. This will be counted as a major assessment, students. So practice this and duplicate. Your your job would be to make four dormers on the house here. Uh, do not draw the dormers on the first level. You draw the first level and save it as the first level. Go to the second level and create your dormers on the second level with the with the uh, knee wall and the uh, the two knee walls and converting the right and left sides, four gables, knee walls, and half, uh, I mean, the in interior walls will be uh, knee walls, the exterior walls will be um, four gables. And you see now you got the windows centered, and uh, you can go to a full, oh, well, that's a plan overview right there, and you can see uh, how the gables, I mean, how the dormers are put on the roof interior. Okay, and you see the back wall right here where you would uh, do the same thing for the uh, dormers on the opposite side of the home. There you have it. So practice that. This is for, this would be your assignment. Have fun. Mm-hmm.